Hello guys and very welcome to this weekly update on my Volkswagen Golf City Struber. As you can see I have done some stuff since the last week. I have installed the windshield and the rear side windows and I filled up the gearbox with some oil and the cooling system. I have also filled that up with just pure water now to see if there is any leaks or something. And uh, well, what have I done more? I have of course installed the drive shaft also and some other stuff that I will talk about a little later here. So first of all, I will now try to take this car on the outside of my garage here for the first time with its own motor. So let me just remove this one first. I don't want to scratch it. Nice. Right, let's put this here. So ignition on. And uh, yeah, let's try this. It's a little tight here. So here we are on the outside. And I can feel already now that the wheel alignment are way off here. So uh, anyway. So I will uh, start on the second gear and uh, the gear ratio on the second gear are almost the same as in the gearbox for the leaf there. So it, we, we are pretty close. But I think that I normally are going to use this third gear because uh, I don't want the gearbox to spin as fast. So, All right, let's listen to the sound. <laughs> so much power! So I have to take it really careful here because I have a lot of air in the brake system. I need to bleed that one more time. So I will just turn around here. <laughs> and here we have the classic uh, reverse gear sound. Yeah, let's try the clutch, by the way, like a normal fossil car. <laughs> it works so great, guys. <laughs> Great! It is working, but I need to do some adjustments, of course, but uh, that was also expected. But I am pretty pleased with it, and uh, as I promised you last week, I probably was able to try this car out from my garage today, and now I have done that. And of course I have also connected the battery, I did forgot to tell you about that in the beginning of this video. And now I have today actually 
painted the front fenders. I am always so nervous when I am painting because if I do anything wrong there, I have to do everything once again. And of course the battery. Let's take a quick look at that before we wrap this all up for this day here. So in the last video I uh, did produce the bus cables, sorry I said bus bars, of course it's a cable but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> anyway guys I think you know what I mean here. So um, here it is, and you can see the main fuse laying there and I have that between uh, the fourth and the fifth battery. And then I, I just have some plastic stuff laying around here so I don't put my hands accidentally down there because uh, there is the main positive and we have the main negative right there. And everything is bolted so nothing can, can uh, came loose or something. So. And now we are charging. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really hope I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.